Hey everyone, welcome back to part three of the Autumn Marathon Tournament. This is a finale, five hours of cool, exciting, maybe slightly dubious games, a lot of fun and interesting gambits. Uh, I checked off a lot of items on my chess bucket list in this one. And as usual, every game is timestamped in the video description, so feel free to hop around and browse all the, the cool openings that I played throughout. Now, before we get into the chess, I do have a brand new and delicious sponsor to thank for this video. I wanna give a huge thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. If you haven't heard of them, HelloFresh is a meal delivery service. They send you fresh pre-portioned ingredients straight to your doorstep, and you can count on them to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. For those of you that want a low stress home cooking experience, HelloFresh is the way to go. They have a vast number of menu items to suit vegetarian, calorie smart, and family friendly preferences. And it's just a great time saver as well. And it just makes for a much smoother experience without the hassle of grocery shopping. Now, very recently, I had the pleasure of cooking a HelloFresh meal alongside my friend and elite grandmaster, Ilya Nizhnik. We cooked some hoisin sweet potato mushroom bowls, and they were absolutely delicious. The recipe was super easy to follow, and the final product not only looked amazing, but it was super, super tasty. So I do have a special offer for my viewers. If you go to HelloFresh.com and use code CHESS14, you can get up to 14 free meals and three free gifts. And I really hope you enjoy HelloFresh as much as I did. Now let's get back to the chess. Anyway, I'm still top 100. I'm 99th place. Let's go. Quick and quiet trying to pass me. So there's five hours and two minutes left. I got some tea, got some energy bar. This is a very small piece of my energy bar. Okay. Let's jump in. Sound? Why is there no sound? Ah. There is sound. Hello from Sweden. Hello. Thank you, the beast. There's a possibility I'll be going to Sweden at the end of the year. There's a tournament I might be playing in. Um, I'll keep people posted. Anyway, we have a reverse Dutch. Uh, this move might be coming. Yeah, white wants to attack me. I think I just have to hold my ground. We go for Hello from the this. UK. Smiley face. Oh, let's get some smiley faces in the chat. Welcome, welcome, Pimpa. Um, trying to remember how the pieces move. I'll play C4, some idea of this. White's attack could be a little bit unsettling, but I'm trying to gain space on the queen side. Yeah, hello to more people. Welcome to all the fight, the first time chatters. Good to see you guys. Okay, this square is a really nice orifice in White's territory. Might be going for the triple up. Also, apologies, I will be eating for a little bit of the first portion of the stream. This is my breakfast. Shout out to you, can. Tasty bar. Um, I kind of like this move. Unleashes a bishop, prepares knight b3, prevents knight c5. Considering taking and playing bishop c5. Maybe I can start with uh, this move. Trying to induce this. And then queen b8. Another idea is to take knight c5. And then try and get the knight to d3. 
Another idea. Make a gun. Oh, I could. Another idea is to make a gun. Oh, that's true. I'm also thinking takes in this. Hi there. I think I'll do that. I'll make a fork and then maybe a gun. Now, I am entering. Oh, uh, I'll start with this and then I'll take the rook. I was going to say we'd be entering like off the color bishop situation if white were to take. Now, life is good. White's in trouble. Okay, the gun is being formed. Alakine's gun. Oh. Thank you, everyone, for subbing. Um, uh, oh, I have to be careful here. These squares are tender, but I have a dark square bishop. Ooh. I'm stuck working on a paper and wish I had time to play today. Here's Ooh. 50 hoping you get your top Whoa, 50. Well, it's silverback. Good luck and have fun. Thanks so much. Thanks for the content, smile. That's so kind. Smile back. Good luck with your paper. I hope I can provide some some entertainment on your breaks. Okay, I just want to win quickly here. Also, this is a massive fork, which I have to still be aware of. <clears throat> I think after h5, queen h4, bishop e7. Uh, looks Ooh, fine. Oh, baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Ako R becoming a baby. And this queen is about to be... Okay, that was nice. 99. Okay, staying within the top 100. Ah. Thanks for the brilliant Caro Can video. Oh, thank you. I'll try and play some more uh, crushing the Caro Khan. Oh, I lost to this person twice yesterday. No berserking. Let's try and uh, build a streak before I start berserking. Thank you, Torque 03. Torque 203. Um, this is interesting. So I'm accepting the gambit. I right hear I have this. I t5. Woohoo, Garrick. Thank you, Banana Peel Pancake. Hmm. I have no idea if this is theory. Looks like some sort of theory. It's a little bit unpleasant. Or very unpleasant. I'll play b4. Expecting knight e4. This should be 7. Whoa, it's Harry Popo Zen. Popo Zen. Thanks for the, the donation. Of my name. I uh, appreciate the, the generosity so far. Yeah, this pawn's a little bit tender. Oh, but there's a funny line. I'll play this. If knight takes, I might have knight c3. So casting is logical. And then... I think I just play this. I'll lose a c-pawn. I'll complete development. And life will go on. I think you nerd of many things. Yeah, the top 100 bits. Trying to get to top 50. It should be doable, but... It's going to take focus and persistence and composure, patience. Uh, let's not blunder a bishop. Okay, maybe go for c5. c5 is very typical in these sort of Catalan type positions. If you can play it and it doesn't lose anything, it's usually a decent move. Okay, we both have the bishop here. I defend the bishop, getting ready for the rooks to come in. This rook is a little bit tied down. Although... Mm, let's start with this.
F2 is a bit tender. Keeping this smooth. Just making small improvements. Making Luft, preventing possibilities of like h4, bishop, g5. Okay, so oh no, my pawn. But knight a5, I have bishop f2. Wow. That's such a bold move. I want to punish this move, like play this. But that doesn't work. I have f5, maybe. There's bishop a8. Maybe bishop a8. Idea to now defend the bishop with the rook. Threatening some cool thing. I don't even know if this is a threat, because takes and takes and queen moves. The other idea is to play queen a7. So defending the pawn, creating the battery, enabling bishop e7. Trying to be multi-purpose. There's this kind of this pin. I have knight, knight f6 or bishop e7. I think knight f6. Pressure against the pawn. I mean, e5 may be possible. Oh no, I blundered. I kind of blundered. Or did I blunder? Bishop g2? How do I resolve this? I have rook d4. There we go. Okay. I think I'm alive. Yeah, there's this pin. Why does maybe considering taking? The rook d4 saves me. And now the queen is a bit stuck. I went from thinking I was maybe losing to now thinking I'm maybe winning. Where does the queen move? h3, knight here. Could throw in the check. What? Opponent may be throwing in the towel. That was unexpected. Okay, I'll take with pawn. I like the bishop here. Maybe queen a8. f3. Queen d5. And rook d1 coming. Still takes a lot of work to win this. Maybe f5 here. Generally, if I have a single minor piece, like a bishop, I want the pawns now on a different color than the bishop, just to maximize square control. Um, I'm thinking about the plan of e5, e4. There's knight d6. I got to move quicker, too. I'll play this first. Here, then the here. Oh, I also have a pawn. So pawn for queen and knight, or uh, queen and pawn for rook and knight. Okay, I want to play this and this. Bishops move like this. Mini L. Okay. Yeah, this is going to be difficult to win. White's very solid. I got to play a bunch of quick moves too. Losing the pawn? I guess I am. But this pawn's a bit tender. Okay, so I'm trying to put white in Zugzwang now. Rooks tie down, knights tie down. Here I win the rook. Okay, 
If takes, I can lock up the king. If king h3, I have queen f3, which is really nice. And now I'm liking this move. White is really close to being zugged. The act of getting zugzwanged. Yeah, I think I just, uh, I'll optimize the king first. And then push the pawn. White's realizing the danger. I mean, nothing else can really move for white. e4 and queen f3 coming. And then if I can win this pawn, it's over. There we go. Do I be fancy? Take the rook? Why not? Okay, that was a nice little uh, grind. Felt good about that one. Almost a small hiccup in the middle game. Okay, let's go. Two out of two this stream. 94th place. Trying to build a streak. Okay, I'll berserk. Opponent berserks, I berserk. Uh, I was hoping for e6 pre-move. I'm playing the nasal wasp gambit here. I smell a top 100 finish coming. Hey, you smell hopefully correctly. Okay, we're about to enter a funny line. Doing this. I was expecting bishop d4. Wow. Okay, this is still kind of funny. Hitting c7 now. Check. I guess knight e7 is coming. Weird position. Not feeling great about this, actually. I want to play this move. We can start down to the knight. Okay, now I'm feeling better a little bit. And it's still really weird. I'm down three pawns, but I'm doing things with my things. Yeah, now I can take and take. Oh, it's still not clear. Okay, now it's looking pretty clear. I think. I don't know. Check and mate? Hey, it's a fork mate. It was fate. Okay, if here it would be a nice little fork mate. Let's go. We got the three. I did finish yesterday's turn or yesterday's stream with the, the five move win of the England Gambit Trap. So I guess I'm four in a row. Okay. Have my energy bar to keep me going. 81st. A lot of people have been falling into this trap, Rook C8. And then the rook gets trapped. And so many decently strong players just walk into this, including GMs. People aren't used to running into bishop e5 in the London. Um, I kind of want to play this move. Just for the giggles. Uh, eh, let's do it. 
There's a prospect of preventing black from castling here, 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 and then here. Or here. Thank you, TMTNY. You time prime sub. Ooh, opponent's giving me a taste of my own medicine. Knight's ready to come in, though. So both of our kings are stuck in the center. Which king will be more stuck? Only time will tell. Okay, my queen feels like an oyster now. Preventing bishop c7, which is kind of important. Can I play this move? It feels really close to winning. Let's do it. F6 I take, and then king f8, I move the bishop back. Oh, but there's king d8. There's also that move. Oh, this position is a little bit more confusing than anticipated. Hmm. I hey. just reached top 20,000 hey, height. Good job, Rasa Boss. <laughs> I think there's just a little bit over 20,000 players playing. I'm so proud of you. I'm just calculating here, trying to figure out intricacies of this position. I think I should move back. Not what I want to do, but kind of what I have to do. I mean, 94, queen f4, it feels a bit passive. Also feels like maybe I could have gotten more. But at least there's tension. If c4, I can happily castle. Otherwise, my plan. Probably knight d4 coming. Bishop c7 was unexpected. I still want to play knight d4. Chase away this bishop. Maybe b4. Also, maybe knight d4, f3, king f2 is one way to untangle. Thank you, ship hippo. Four months. Hey, it's Pam. Welcome back. Yeah, it's hard to look at chat so closely. Oh, I will be playing in the Squid Chess tomorrow. It's a Squid Chess Games hosted by Anna Kramling. Should be pretty fun. I have no idea like what the games are, which I think is kind of the point. Should make things interesting. Okay, so I'll play F3. Wow, Bishop D8. Uh... I mean, there's queen h3. Get after it. There's a smooth. Yeah, the smooth. I'm trying. I'm trying. I want to play queen d6 soon. Oh, I didn't see that. Okay, well, now I'm just in trouble. Ah. How bad is it? This is kind of bad. Ah. Oh, it's such a good opening, too. Okay, I might as well take and be sad. Um, I have this move. All this position is crumbling. That's so sad. Got the opening trap.
B knight C6. He takes, takes, takes. Bishop B3. Still trying to fight. Whoa, it's Hare Krishna and gifting 50. Thanks so much. That's so kind. Welcome back. You're just in time for my pain. Oh no. Yeah. I miss Queen Z1 actually. Three pawn, three pawn. I should probably resign. But I'm playing on because I have pawns. I kind of have a fortress too. The fortress is about to crack. Let's take. I'm not so optimistic here. Okay, I mean, it all comes down to these things. The last survivors. Hoping for this, 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 this. Well played. You never know, though. You never know. Until you do know. Okay, I resign. <laughs> no traps in this position. No stalemate traps. Oh, that was rough. I should at least uh, learn from my mistakes. I mean, I really like the position here. When C5 happened, Bishop G5, now 6. So I have options. But it's not completely winning for white. It took some effort to resolve. Uh, okay, next time I would just take in castle, not even allow bishop d3. Good simplest. Okay, lesson learned. Oh, I still have my bucket list from yesterday. I haven't yet played a potato opening or a Medusa Gambit. Uh, maybe I'll go for Medusa. I can't. Oh, or a Cadus Gambit. I haven't played a Cadus yet. I would need white to play d4. Okay, you can't play the Cadus against knight c3. Hey, it's Gari. Gari wakes up to me. Nice. <laughs> uh, let's take and maybe queen d5. Interesting. How to do this? Knight c6. d4 is coming. Play this move. And tickle the pawn. Trying to induce d3. I'm realizing this is already uncomfortable. Oh, maybe I can get a castle fork. Castle fork is on my list. But how to do it? Need to play this. B6. B6 seems overly weakening. I have this move. Play this move. 
Bishop G2 is still coming. I could just play B6 now. Looks solid. Or maybe this move. This move looks even more solid. Rook B7. Oh, Rook B7 I take. But Bishop G2 takes, takes. There's eventual Rook B7. There's a really funny line. Ah, it doesn't work though. Oh, I want it to work. I want to take here. I'm taking my time because there's something that that's really beautiful that could potentially happen. I think I just take maybe here. I'm going to play this. Not the best move, but... Oh, there's a really funny line, too. It's not going to happen, though. Play this. Well, now I trap... Oh, I don't trap the thing. Play this. So if takes, I take here, and I threaten the double fork, or I threaten um, double threat of this and this. To me dot twitch dot tv use a notice hashtag imrosen. Wait, what? Who said that? Someone said that. I can castle here too. I oh, there's so many funny looking lines. I want to play this actually. Look, C4. Uh, let's just take. Oh, the funny line. This move and then oh, it doesn't really work. I might still do it though. How to do this? How do I trap the rook? I gotta move too. I'm taking too long. Maybe this first. Giving up on queenside castling. But going for hey, one. Hey, Eric Kim Rosen Punk. Hey. Okay, now I'm threatening to take and mating ideas. Oh no. The great and powerful Rosen. I feel less great and less powerful here though. Cause maybe I'm still alive. It's just terrifying. Yeah, these lines are really scary. I have this move. I think I have this move. It seems like there should be a tactic for white, but I don't think there is because I control eight. If takes, takes. I have nine seconds left. Now here. And then I'll just make a loofed. Everything is fine. Okay, up a rook now. This is completely winning. I want to get the other rook in. Um, here's my mating ideas. Oh, my pawn's attacked. Play this first, and then maybe this. 
Okay, it would have been really bad to hang g7 there. <laughs> I think I want to play uh, h5 and then try and create some bishop f1 mating ideas. Also, the rook's hanging. So now I have a double threat of bishop f1 and taking the rook. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Thanks, everyone, for being here. I'm Singer. Welcome back. Oh, saying the great and powerful Rosen. <laughs> okay, I feel somewhat great and powerful. Let's berserk. Hopefully, I'm not becoming overconfident. Uh, yeah, this is a fun line. Takes knight b4. Hi, Eric. Can you add bishop scambit on your list too? The line goes e4, e5, f4, x4, and bishop c4. Sure. Imrosen angry goose, Imrosen angry goose, Imrosen angry goose, Imrosen steak, steak, steak. Mm, steak. Okay. <laughs> the bishop's gambit has been added. If I end up gambiting a bishop, I might also include that as a way of accomplishing the, the item. Also, this is already really pleasant for black. There's a square. Bishop f1 is playable. I think now it's just a happy French. I gotta move quicker, though. Um, yeah, White was just going for trades. It's still preferable for black. Just got to keep the pace. Maybe some G5 move some point consider taking the knight but this looks more fun put the bishop on c4 put the queen in okay so hitting the knight knight's pinned uh calculating knight c3 knight g4 h3 F five ideas. Okay, I'll start with this. Provoke H three. Poking and prodding. I can go for H five, H four. I mean, it's basically full domination. All areas of the board. And yeah, I didn't want to allow knight b6. I do lose a pawn, but I don't really care about the queen side anymore, or do I? It's an annoying move. I have to take. Okay, I'm going all in. Or all out. Play f3. Really? H1, I do this. Running rook g3. I think I'll keep the pace. This is coming. Always on passant. Okay. G2. Queen G2. Yeah, Queen H6, I have Knight H7. Can you say the London system is the greatest opening of all time with a genuine accent? A genuine, like a London? Not right now. I gotta focus. Thankfully, I saw an H7 coming from a distance. Now it looks to be force mate. 
If rook here, the last tricky move. Oh, that's also kind of tricky. Ah. Not over. I didn't see the mate. That's so sad. I mean, it's a draw, so I didn't get flagged. Was there a mate? Maiden six after queen f1. Oh, queen f1, knight d4. That's kind of hard to see. To go away and then come back. Ah, what to do? Okay, back to tournament. Oh, back to... Okay, so I got some points there. I got one point for that. <laughs> okay. Playing... Let's not berserk, but let's play aggressively. Um, play bishop c4. Some kind of weird Ponziani type thing. I want to play d4. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really do a British accent. If I could, I would probably do it all the time. But it's just something I'm kind of physically incapable of. Okay, I'm just playing based on intuition. This looks pleasant. I mean, there's a pin, but I have a lot of things supporting e5. Wouldn't mind if the d file opens or the e file opens. Not quite winning, though. Uh, maybe this move. Oh, maybe this move. A bishop f6. A bishop f6 I take. Yeah, I think... I think this is called, called for. So here we just trade, and I'll be up a pawn. Not the most exciting climax to the attack, but sometimes that's how attacks go. You You be aggressive, and then you get away with a small amount of material. And then you have to grind the end game. Who wrote Dorado? No genuine accent, like you sincerely mean it. Oh, I thought you just meant a British accent. Oh, ha ha ha. You just want me to talk genuinely? I do that all the time. I think. What did you want me to say? Can you say Lon Oh, okay. A London system is the greatest opening of all time. I hope that's satisfactory. <laughs> Although, the Stafford Gambit is a close competitor of London. Also, did I even, I didn't even play the London this game. <laughs> Maybe I'll play the London next white game I get. Thank you, Goomba. First time prime sub. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you, Rodorado, for all the bits and kindness. Uh, I don't even know what to do. Let's play this move.
I feel like this night could be better somehow. Like this, this. Wow. Very fancy. Rook d3. Oh, Rook d3, 91. Wow. I play knight f4. We trade. It's a really annoying move. I guess king f3. Got you like this and then this and then this and then this. And then this and then king walks back to d2. I might be going in a little bit too deep. I mean, knight b4 is kind of scary. But it's an end game. King power. Oh, Gari has a funny joke. What do you call a factory that makes okay products? A satisfactory. <laughs> and if the products are not okay, then it's unsatisfactory. Any reason to play knight of three second? Oh, d4, knight of three, and then c4. Uh, usually to avoid gambits, like Budapest or the Alban counter gambit. There's probably other nuances too. You get some different version of queen's gambit accepted. Black has to commit to a second move, so you can always like go into London depending what black plays. I was thinking f4 here. Although it kind of leaves the bishop a bit weak. But maybe it's okay. Here I have this, and then king goes back to f3. Now I'm trying to push for a win. Oh, we're still in emote only. Yeah, emote only will be turned off after this game. Or during this game. <laughs> yeah, once in a while, emote only mode is nice. Let the mods and VIPs converse. Is the board slightly out of frame? My bad. Uh, I probably like played with it when I was sleep deprived earlier. Now I have this move. You don't really see the point of this. Okay, feeling good about this now. Uh, oh, there's a funny mate. Okay, so f5 takes and then knight f4, threatening the rook, but also threatening maiden one. Hey, it's a fork mate. It was fate. That was a nice finish. Let's go. That pawn played a crucial role. Knights were happy. Okay, going for top 80. Thank you, R3. It saw being a tier one for six months in advance. Really appreciate that. Okay. Berserk. Oh, I forgot to play a London. The best opening ever. I'll play whatever this is. King's Gambit. Um, I usually play this as black, so... Try and figure out the, the way to play this for white. I do have to move quickly. I, think I, was, I still want to have a minute left, like going into endgame as a plan. Where did Sally go during the bombing? Is that a boss? Or um, not a boss, a joke? Or a genuine question. Everywhere. Oh, that's kind of. Uh... 
I get the joke, but yeah, we can get some colon capital D's in the chat. <laughs> okay, uh, let's try and keep a clear mind here. Knights versus bishops. Okay, so I won back the pawn. I mean, there's a lot of pressure. I think it's okay. Queen e7? Queen e7, I guess, queen d2. Always have to watch out for this stuff. Okay, I don't mind the queen trading. Get my knight to d5 now. Okay. Just gotta feed through the end game. Okay, there's b5. Okay, rook e4. My king is slightly better. Pawns are slightly better. It's equal material, but I'm gonna try and play this for a win. Despite the time situation. I'm trying to calculate the king pawn ending after that. Might as well. I think Box in the Moon zooms along after H six A four. Is B five though? How do I take? Okay, now it's perpetual zugzwang. Okay, plenty of time. Because once this pawn is lost, it's a pretty clear win. I wonder if I can win this without going below 10 seconds. Okay, mission accomplished. Let's go. Hey, extra typo gifting to RKA. Okay, got the job done there. 77, lucky number. Yeah, king pawn endings are tricky. Sometimes it comes down to who runs out of moves first. Playing Anonymous Warrior. So this time I'll play a London and Berserk. Okay, not entirely sure about this opening, but looks kind of fun. Uh, what is this? You want Okay, this will be a bit more positional. I'll probably preserve the bishop. 
take that. The problem for black is I control b8. We might see knight g3. Or not. Play b4. And now I preserve the bishop. I'm not better here. I'm gonna walk the king to f2. I think the king pawn ending is winning. E6 is now tender. This is objectively a draw. Okay, black kind of overpushed though. Let's go! Okay. Oh, heart rate went up there. Got the job done, though. Oh, breath. Let's fall below 100. No, don't increase. 110. Good workout. 68th place. Pretty nice. Never played this opponent before. Playing a six. I think I just want to try and play something solid. Playing bishop d six. I'll admit I don't entirely know much theory here, but. This looks playable. Oh, goodbye to Pam. Thanks for being here. I take taken this move. It looks fun. Oh wait, no, it just loses a pawn. Okay, I guess I can take first and then win this pawn for free. Take with a rook or knight. Take with a rook. And take and win this pawn. Up two pawns now. Wanted to play h5 and then knight h5. And maybe I'll go for that. We get some end game where I'm still up a pawn. 
Congratulations, takes, takes. And we trade on G5. <coughs> the first sneeze of the marathon. This position is nothing to sneeze at. Thanks for blessing me. I feel so blessed now. I kind of have to sneeze again. Thanks for the salute bits. I think the knight, knight has to return to c3. Might as well optimize my king. Okay, I'm threatening sneaky things. Wow. So, there, I mean, there is a double threat. I can play knight e3 or takes on c2. Uh, maybe knight e3 is better. Keep the rook on the board. And a3 could be weak later. Let's go. Okay, four hours and two minutes and some seconds left. 62. Losing him on top 50. Taking a risk here. Was working against Chris. Good luck. The Grand Prix attack time. Good luck. Oh, I can't Eric. play D three. Play this move. Thank you. Tape numbers. Also, thank you, Lockheed. Back with the W bits. Okay, I just want a castle. Slightly unusual position. Okay, but now it's a dream position. I mean, this is what every positional player dreams of. It's still going to take work, though. Uh, knight b6 is coming. Time is ticking. It's actually not so clear. Move back and maneuver the knight. My bishop didn't want to be on a3. I gotta move a lot quicker here. I think the plan I want to go for is h3, g4. Come on, Eric. I'm trying, I'm trying. Bishop f8, I just move back. If we trade, then I'll have bishop a5 as a threat. Idea king h2, rook g1, h4, h5. Really, you can take your first and then be up a piece. Now there's a pin. I'm threatening Bishop F4. Hey, it's John. What's up, John? Hey guys, it's Eric. 
Appreciate the raid, John. If you're just joining, I berserk this game. I'm trying to win. I have a strong pin. My name is not Finn or Finns. Uh, can I take this? I think I can take that. Discover the tack. Also, thing a fork. Was John playing the marathon too? Actually, I have no time to look at chat. I gotta focus. <laughs> so, if takes, I fork. Pawn takes is expected. If knight moves, I fork like this. Debating whether to take with rook or bishop. Probably rook. But maybe bishop. Yeah. There's no time to be indecisive. Okay. Creating the battery. Um, take back. I might want to go for this. Just go for the massaging of the dark squares. When in doubt, act like a masseuse. Okay, threatening to take the pawn. Oh no, my rook. Oh no. Ah, my rook is still hanging. Please take it. Please. Oh no, my queen. Ah. Okay, check me. <laughs> uh, that was a fun finish. Yeah, dark squares are really massageable. Okay. Back to tournament. Shout out to John. I think we have a John command. You tree whopper. Okay, let's play something solid. I'm not berserking this game. Berserking is so stressful sometimes. Thank you, Lockheed. More W bits. Yeah, this is a slightly offbeat line I like to play against King's Indian. Where I keep the pawn back on C7. And usually go for this. Some A4 idea. Maybe a3 idea. Put the rook on d8. And this is all very standard for the setup. d3 is a bit weak. It seems like a square white should control, but there's some knight b4. Maybe at some point. Also consider taking. Also consider this maneuver. It leaves g7 as kind of an open target, but... I have bishop f8 if I need it. I'm dreaming of some position where I just get a knight to d3. Like a weak square is just something that's easy to attack and perhaps a bit difficult for the opponent to defend. Also, maybe threatening to take and just win a pawn. If I played this, there'd be it's easier to play for white. You can see two knight here and then here attacks things. And I have this move. <laughs> After queen c2, I might play bishop f8. Just prophylactic measures. That was unexpected. Because it does defend the pawn. 
and take and maybe win this thing. Throw in a three. Oh, there's some funny lines. I think I'll start with I or what am I doing? I'll <laughs> start with knight c6 takes e4. Start with this and then this. It seems risky, but I don't see how white punishes me. I have queen here, I just move back and offer the trade of bishops. Up a decent amount of time. Yeah, if only knights could move like bishops, I would have a battery. Okay, so I have this move. Maybe the only move is... Mm. Let's play this. Now I have the bishop pair, which is very pleasant. Possibility of... Uh, Takes and bishop f6. I think I'll just play h5. A solid position. Hmm. I'm gonna take and then take. Having a hard time assessing that position. I think it looks good though. Worst case, I have bishop f6, but I think the plan's to take and then just save bishop f6 for next move. The bishops are going to be really powerful. The problem for white is after the rook moves, I take and then I'm controlling the queening square with the bishop. There's even icing on the cake, bishop b1. Not even queen, but just ensure the queen can't be taken. Had a good sleep. Smile. Yeah, sleep was good. I think I slept from like 8-something to 1-something. So, 5-something hours. These tournaments do kind of throw my sleeping schedule off. Probably not the healthiest, but they're still fun. Okay, so now I'm up a bishop. Great queens. I'll keep things simple. Lockheed with the early W bits. Yeah, this should be pretty straightforward. One can't be defended. Okay, pretty clean game. Can't complain with that one. Almost top 50. I mean, top 50 was my goal for like the five hours, but uh, might have to make a new goal. Yeah, no berserk. Playing a fellow I am. Uh, free things. I like free things. Still want to stay focused and keep my composure. Um, queen here, I do a queen g3. Wow, okay, I don't mind trading stuff. Um, uh, to do this in here yeah, I'm up a full piece 
Just gotta keep the pace. Ah, I blundered. Not exactly what I wanted. Okay, Black Wonder's back. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> that was not the highest quality game. But it was a game. I'm on a nice streak. I've been berserking every other game. This time I won't berserk. I played this opponent last night a bit. Oh, did I have this game? I had knight g4 last night, after which queen d2. I had a game last night where I hung my queen after e5. Um, I remember looking at this line. I'm supposed to take. It takes an f3. Recall I'm supposed to play positionally. It's the benefit of studying my games I play is that like if I didn't study that game last night, I would have kind of just been on my own. Okay, now it looks like a nice position. Probably still some idea to push the H pawn. G4, H5. In combination with this, too. King h8. I mean, black is feeling the heat. I think I'll play g4. Make the pawn smile. Ah, uh, that was idea. Okay, I mean, h5 is still on the horizon. Wow. I kind of want to play h6. Alpha zero style, preventing back from playing h6. Now all, all I need to do is get a pawn to g7. Easier said than done. I would prefer it to be easier done than said, but sometimes that's not how things work. A move. Wondering if I can just sack. Like sack a pawn. Because after it takes, 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 or diagonals open. Um, yeah, that looks pleasant. Also, obstructing the rook from defending the knight, so might be threatening to win a pawn. But here I'll take with bishop. Let's defend now. Queen still attacked. A7 is randomly hanging. I don't think I want to take it though, because rook A8. Uh, so what else to do? Queen C3. Queen C5. Queen C5 is interesting. I mean, there's lines where Black tries to win A2. I have B3, we trade. I think I have to take with Bishop. Keep the rook defending the pawn. That's a move. Yeah, it's about to get positional. Unless I don't go for the queen trade. Which actually, yeah, let's keep queens on the board. This is king is more checkmateable. 
take with Bishop. I could take with Rook, but take with Bishop. This is a possible move now, but not happening. There should be two. I have not a five. I do want to keep the pawn here. It's kind of annoying with my rook being stuck, but kind of called for. Okay, I'm allowing some trades. This could get very positional. Oh, I'm losing the pawn. A pawn is my baby. I have this move, but it doesn't look right. I have this move. I'm going for a counterattack. Maybe queen e6 ideas. In combination with this, create the battery. This pawn's also hanging. So c5, bishop c4 takes. I just take, takes, and mate. Ooh. I kind of forgot about that move. Move all the way back. There's a funny line to just play queen a3 here. And the queen is a little bit overworked. I'm probably threatening just to take, or even not threatening rook d1. Also threatening the pawn. So these are my two threats. And the rook's kind of pinned. Black would want to play that move. But... Okay, now I'm winning two pawns for the price of one. Feels like Walmart. I don't even know if Walmart has those deals. Uh, a2 falls. It's not so clear if I take on b6. Maybe this move is a cleaner. Gets kind of murky. I want to play b3 if I get the chance. Okay, got the chance. Preparing this. E5 is very logical. Play this move. Idea bishop c4. I value peace activity more than pawns. Uh ooh. Be careful here. Queen a3 was a threat. Uh, this is getting tricky. Also getting really low on time. Okay, Rook has done its job on the h-file. Trade? I guess we trade. I can't do that. Ah, I was about to wander my queen. Bishop was pinned. I'll play this move. I'm not defending. Be winning. That scares me though. He 
crazy game. Let's try C pawn. Oh, let's go. The breakthrough with G5. Oh no, my rook. Man, what a game. That took effort. Got the job done, though. <sighs> I think I was in trouble. Uh, there was a move. I think just H3 here. Like, how do I stop the pawn? I think I was just completely losing. <laughs> Thank you, Lockheed. It's a lot of W's in a row. 44th place. Oh, what's my new goal? Trying to reach top 30, how about? That should be accomplishable. I'm only berserking if my opponent berserks. But I'll still play aggressively. I have to play aggressively against the London. Jobava London. I was supposed to take. I'll admit I don't know this line so well. I assume I'm just supposed to take back and get a playable position. Okay. That white's going to go for e4. This is probably some sort of theory. Looks okay, though. Basically forcing this move. Yeah, already a nice opening. I'm going to go for knight e4 soon. f3 is a move. Defending the queen. So there's d4, maybe h5. Trying to make gradual improvements. e7. Just so there's no pin. My a pawn's been hanging for a while. Do I care? I kind of care. Maybe this move. Align with the king, defend the pawn. Trying to use my h pawn like that previous game. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Matt. Loving for half a year. One wants to get knight c5 in. Of a5. I think I go for h3 here. The pawn will just chill. The pawn might fall, but it'll perish a hero. It's very committal. I give away the d4 square. I'm trying to induce light square weaknesses. I'm going after the pawn. I'm getting bishop f3. I'll go for a5. Temporary pawn sack. If takes, I have rook here.
And the problem for white, a3 I take and the knight's hanging. Now there's no more knight c5. I might get the two for one deal again. I gave away one pawn and very likely both these pawns will fall. I'd love to teleport my queen to h1. I have to build a teleportation machine. New chess strategy. Wait, you take and the knight's trapped? I mean, there's this move. Oh, there's that move. Oh, very fancy. Um, I think I'll... Got my two for one deal. Now bishop g2. Oh, but... Ah, it's kind of a fork. Oh, white was very clever there. So probably queen c5. Do I want to pressure c2? The event of takes, takes, queen f2. Uh, probably go for the double up. Who's king f2? Maybe queen c4. Does here, then queen e4, queen g2. Yeah, white's a bit stuck here. Both this and this are tied down to the c2 pawn. Okay, this is a pin. Wow, e4, what a move. King f3 is no longer a threat. So maybe to do this. I'm so confused here. I think I want to play rook a3. The rook on c3. Also defend the pawn, kind of. If rook e3, I take. Queen takes I win the pawn, queen takes I win the pawn. Rook a1, I play this. And then this and this are prevented. Also maybe threatening uh, to do this. Difficult position for white. That's a move. Uh, we need three. Maybe this move. Just preventing rookie three. Pawns are meant to be pushed. Also can kind of just build a a nice architecture formation. A very solid foundation. So yeah, things defend each other, which is nice. White's being resourceful though. Kudos to my opponent. Uh, okay. Do this move. Wow. No, oh, my queen. Happened there. Mm. 
Vonder the Queen, but White didn't take it. Go. This better be winning. I think this is winning. I should have been losing, though. No draw. Now these pawns are invincible. Go. Yeah, well, I think White had multiple ways to win, too. Yeah, there was Queen G5 at many points. Oh, what a game. Could have easily lost that. F6 was a very strong move. The problem... I, mean, I played Queen C4. I think Queen G5 is already Tough winning. game. Uh, but then, then I just wonder my queen. <laughs> but then White didn't take it. White still has Queen G5. Okay, I was very fortunate there. The streak continues. 276. Okay. His opponent has beat me twice. I've only won once. No berserking. Thank you, Lockheed. Thank you, Alpha M. Stafford Gambit? No Stafford Gambit. Uh, I'll play this line. Other night, or yesterday, I had the line takes and bishop e5, bishop e4, takes bishop uh, f7. Crazy, crazy line. Okay, with this, I'll have to try and remember my theory. I'm already kind of forgetting. A few weeks ago, I like spent an hour trying to learn these lines. It's hard to keep them remembered if I'm not practicing them. Um, I mean, this is clearly an idea. Considering some uh, like Queen H4 looks weird, but I'm preventing the Queen from coming to H5, enabling moves like Bishop G4. The Queen's not so easy to remove. Like G3, I have Queen H3. Be some weird like queen a4 swinging maneuver. That's kind of a cool move. Work. I have to play c6. That's kind of sad if it works. Wow. I think it works. I mean, oh, that's so sad. Like a castle. I think I just castle here and be down a couple of pawns. There's still practical chances because uh, it's off the color bishops. Of course, this is not what I wanted. I'm basically just playing for a draw. Maybe this move. B6 is playable. We start with B6. There's a three's coming though. Rook 
58, 51. Okay. So I'm down two pawns. I mean, white structure is a bit weak, so maybe I can win a pawn back. I mean, all these pawns are potential weaknesses. Get the bishop here. I'll be threatening bishop c4. My queen, oh no. Thankfully, I've I've avoided blundering a queen. Pawns are easier to blunder than the queen. Um, yeah, I don't think I want a queen trade. F4 might be coming. There is this move. Followed by rook c8. Rook d1, rook d4. Hmm. Okay. I would love to just get some attack. That would require lifting rooks. Do I even rook lift bro? I mean, if I get a rook to g4, it doesn't matter how many pawns I'm down if I'm mating. Time is also dwindling for both of us. I'm playing the person in sixth place. They probably they're probably sleep deprived. Which is somewhat helpful for me. I'm gonna go after this pawn. Crazy, they have almost four hundred tournament points. Okay, tickling this pawn. Um, I can induce g3. Now I want to get bishop d5 in. Maybe just b5. My time is low too. H5. Right here. go almost didn't see my rook was attacked e3 doesn't work doesn't work The pawn. Do this move first.
There we go. Let's go. Okay. Somehow I won that. Oh, I was just worse out of the opening middle game. But came back. I got the rook lifting in. Worked out. When we got low on time. Okay. Top 40. I'm trying to reclaim my 2600 rating. I'm only down 83 points this tournament. Okay. The win streak continues. Thank you, Lockheed. Thank you, Herb Gord. Appreciate the bits. Yeah, we'll go into this typical line in London. Um, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. I think I'll just chill and wait for an opportunity to strike. B4 is probably not called for. Bishop here. I'm just chilling. Rookie two. I'm kind of tempted to take the pawn. It's really not called for though. There's knight here. Be rookie two first, or uh, rookie one. Play rookie two. We're subbing the standard deviation. We're offering a night trade. Uh, queen b1. But queen c1. Want a massage of the dark squares. Trade. b4 may be coming. Considering, um, with uh with this got my battery if the light moves I could consider taking the rook I want to play bishop h6. Yeah, I'm getting kind of positionally tortured here. I... Not too many good looking options either. I mean, there's rook c1. Unpleasant though. Takes. I'm baking on rookie three working, which I think it does it work? Might work. This is still really unpleasant.
new human bot person. First time Prime sub. Interesting. Uh, I kind of have to take. Go for this. I mean, there's a line, takes, 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 knight g5, and small hope. Wow. He can play bishop d4. Also play knight d4, but let's try this. Ooh, interesting. I have queen d4 as well. I'm probably just going to be losing a pawn, though, fortunately. Maybe queen d4 offers me the best chances. There's also this move. Let's try this. It's not pretty. It's really not pretty. Desperately trying to stay alive here. Play C4. At least we simplified. I won't be blundering my queen. This pawn could be a weakness. I just want to bring the king into d2. That's not looking good. Oh, very clever. If I took the knight, there was rook check, knight, knight e1 and d2. Still fighting. Hi. Also, quack. Also, hi. hi. Also, back to swag. Club. Also, quack. Uh, welcome back. Oh, my knight. If I win the pawn, I'm not resigning. Oop. Venting this. It's very resignable, though. But you never know. Oh, I got forked. Well played. Ah. Black played a good game. Yeah, this, uh... Where was it? Where was it? Oh yeah, rook takes a5 was very, uh, very nice. Because takes, check, here, here I lose. Okay, what to do? There goes my streak. Oh, I was on a 13 game win streak. Oh, I'm out of 
my streak and out of tea. Oh no. Should boil more water. Okay. Approaching the three hour. Three hour left mark. Been live for almost two hours. Boil some more. The sound might be a little bit weird for the next minute or so. Thank you, Fish Houses. New sub at tier one. Okay. I'm trying to get some compensation. Oh, that was notification sound from Meechess. Yeah. St. Louis Chess Club is starting their, their classes. Uh, I'll play this move. I'm down the pond, but okay, I have more activity. Some interesting central pressure. Okay. It's time for throat comfort tea. Throat comfort. Take this. Hmm. I'm actually not sure what my threat is here. Maybe just to gradually increase pressure. Okay, here I can take and play F6. Or even... What's the best way to do this? Okay, I have to start with by taking. I can also take here. I was calculating F6 and then C3. If I move the knight, there's queen C4. <sighs> I think I'll just take here. It looks like a slightly better end game after this we trade and then i get the rook to the second and maybe the other rook to the second too oh i was about to bring tea without the tea bag find the tea bag that's my last tea bag oh no box is empty i have to find new ways to comfort my throat when will you hire a personal servant? I hear Ooh. this is common among godlike celebrities. Also, quack. Also, quack. Also, quack. The first step is hiring a, a butler duck to just quack at me. Also, is this just a draw? This might just be a draw. Which would be kind of sad. I have this move. Thank you, Fish House, gifting five. Appreciate that. I'll be so sad if this is actually a draw. I think I start with this. Then Rook here and then this. Maybe there's room to play for a win. I'm up a pawn. Just trying to keep a pawn. Hmm. 
G6 or H5? H5. Now G6. Mm. Uh, I should probably just agree to a draw. Try and keep Brooks on the board. What is your max viewer record? Across 10,000 once. And Hikaru rated me. Like 20,000 people. Wait, that doesn't make sense. I think her car rated me with like 10k. I briefly crossed 10,000. You better well start playing for a draw. It's time to draw. Or is it? It looks like a really simple end game. Like, Rook here, I think, is losing. I was about to play this, and... First... Go, Eric. Yeah, I'm offering a draw. I don't think there's a way for White to actually win the pawn. Or is there? I may have over pushed a little bit. If I lose this, it's so bad. Oh no. I'm losing this. Ah, I put my king on the wrong square. Oh no. <laughs> I lost both my pawns. That's so sad.
feel so broken right now. I guess that's why you should always play on. I got way too long time this game too. We'll have to try. Yeah, there's no stalemate tricks, unfortunately. Uh, oh, it's so sad. Okay. Lesson learned. So me and the man are supposed to play a game soon where I play the mayonnaise gambit. Any tips? Oh. Um, eat a lot of mayonnaise. I think that's the only way to play the gambit. You just have to load up on mayo. That'll make it... I'll make the gambit more strong. Okay, let's uh, <laughs> let's try and rebound. Forty-six place. No berserking. No more playing on drawn positions. This is supposed to be pleasant. You queen g4 and go for the h pawn push. Okay, this pawn's a little bit weak. It might fall. My idea is to play g4. Ooh. Okay, I have an idea to... Mm. Let's play more positionally. I was thinking about taking, but black has a bishop pair. Don't want to open the position too much. This bishop is really sad. Might go for this lift. And g6 is one of the main targets. And if we trade... Yeah, so trading bishop for knight now I have the dark squares in my control. I mean, black might go for the exchange sack. Bishop here, I have rook d1. Interesting. I, think I want to put the rook on g5. The question is how to crack the position. Maybe rook g5, queen g3. I'm kind of abandoning the queen side. It's interesting. Maybe this and e4 at some point. I'll try and open things up a bit. Uh, do I defend the pawn? Nah. Okay, so I was running rook h5. Black kind of saw it. So I'm losing a pawn. The thing is, pawns are not as relevant as mating. Now e4. 
I would love to open the e-file, but probably not going to happen. Another idea to take, take some e6 threatening the, the rook with the bishop. As a cool position, anything can happen. All three results are possible. If I take, there's kind of a funny line. Maybe I would take here first. Give black the choice of blundering. Wow, okay. I mean, I was going to take here and then it would be easy for Black to take back, but yeah, that's uh, that's nice. Hey, it's, it's a shock. I think that's a German chess streamer. Thanks for the raid. 178. Welcome, everyone. Oh, guten, no, my reason. Guten Abend. If you're just joining, this is a, the Autumn Marathon Tournament. I am in 46th place. Oh, I'm playing a username, probably referring to Among Us. Um, so I played the, the tournament last night for almost 10 hours straight. And I've been playing for last two or so hours. Point wants to hurt me. I'm thinking of this move. It's kind of interesting. But also just castle and be brave. 94 bishop e7. It doesn't look pretty, but I'm staying alive. Oh, thank you, Lockheed. I did win that previous game very abruptly. Okay. Opponent really wants to hurt me. If I play d5, I mean, d5 would be the way to go. a funny looking line like takes takes f5 and then queen a5 that's probably not good for me but what else to do there's also d5 immediately takes and then takes and it's a fork maybe playable i'm just trying to weather the storm Get a playable position. Thank you, Corbin. Eight eight four. First time prime sub. Yeah, for those unaware, because I know there's a lot of new viewers here. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe for free. We have the Prime command. Easy way to support the channel. Okay, so I have a pawn for a knight. It looks like I'm winning back something. Or I'm getting mated. Or not. Because queen b6. Yeah, very key move. And then I'll take and I win the bishop. Thank you, chill chess and create. Another first time prime sub. Oh, and Terp fear. I should remind people to sub with prime more often. <laughs> uh, Takes maybe... There's also queen a5, devious move. We have Enrico climbing for four months. I still have to be careful. This obstacle bishop situation, g6 would be really bad for me. 
But things look stable. It's nice being up a pawn. I was the one trying to play a gambit this game. Thank you, Avin Us Real. Loving with Prime for nine months. Opponent wants to play Bishop d4. Maybe Rook d8. Keeping tension. There's a funny line. I don't think it's good, but Bishop d4, g5. Try and divert the queen away from defending the bishop. More likely, bishop d4, I would play rook d5 to lift the rook. Attack g2. It's full. Maybe queen h5. e7 is undefended there. So maybe a6. But bishop h6 is coming, which is kind of scary. Hmm. I think I'll play this. Give up the pawn and then go for just very quick attack. Yo, 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 speedy milk. Low vibs easy. Thank you, A2, R2, P2. Yeah, I guess white's okay here. Unless I have this move. Even this move is playable with then rook f1. Oh, I guess queen d1. Queen d1 might be the best move. Oh no, there's bishop g1 in that. But maybe that's still fine for me? It's still okay for me. So if takes, takes here, takes here, yeah, that should be winning. Otherwise, if rook f1 immediately, I have this. Now I have the battery. Rook c1, I take on e2. If rook fc1, not happening. Okay, so brief calculation check here. It takes and bishop d5 should, should be winning. Might as well make some luft. I want to play rook g4 very soon. Also don't want to flag. This pawn's hanging. Uh-oh. L-U-F-T. Oh no! I just blundered a rook. Ah, I blundered another rook. Ah, my position. What happened to my position? Oh.
Ah. I was completely winning too. I just had to not plunder stuff. I guess this was a good move. I saw this rook was attacked. I had to play like queen c2 or something. Also, there was a moment, I think here rook c1. Or no, not really. Maybe before. Maybe here. No, everything was fine. Until it wasn't fine to do. Oh no, my everything. I think you ruckles subbing with Prime. Oh man. Let's try and stay in the top 50. Okay, just have to say focused. Tilting. Move. Why did I do that? Okay, maybe I will go full tilt and sack everything and hopefully it's a mate. Yeah, this is working out. <laughs> Wasn't fully intended. Oh no, my rook. There we go. Let's go. Okay. I want the game. <laughs> nice get berserking win too. Okay. I'm trying to get back on the win streak. Playing Koke Fisher from Chile. Very positional English. I want to play F5. Thank you, Lockheed. I'm going to try and rack up some more W bits at some point. Takes, takes. We'll take. Uh, play this. 
how we're trading a lot. That's roughly equal. I'm trying to induce some weaknesses. Not always easy. Probably bishop g6. Taking queen h5. Not sure if this accomplishes much though. E4 is not really a threat. Is it? It is. Yeah, queen c2. Okay, going into the end game. E5, maybe just D5. Not what I wanted, but I know what I had to do. Well, the knight wants to be here. Take some time to get there. This and this is a plan. G5. He takes an A5. I just want the past eight pawn. One in this C6 there, which would have been troublesome. In a little bit of trouble. I have two outside passers. Not in time. Takes with things with check. Slightly surprising. I have no time. Ah. Final position. I still might be losing, but ah, I had drawing chances to do. 
Berserking's risky. Maybe I like I shouldn't berserk. I should just play quickly and keep the increment. We'll try and play aggressively. Okay, London time. Mainline London. I'll admit I don't know if I'm playing theory, but I'm threatening to win in one move, so looks interesting. Uh, I think Black just blundered the fork. This move. Maybe C4. I'll take and then play C4. I'm giving back a pawn. Okay. This is pleasant, because... And the endgame should be a pretty routine win. Of course, you never know. These positions take work. Uh, I have f3 here. Maybe just b3. Give the g pawn back and go after this thing. That's a greedy move, but free food. Thank you, John's vibing today. Appreciate the bits. Oh, these pawns are vibing. Yeah, this is far from clear. Maybe F3. Even F4 is interesting. Because G5, I have Queen C7. Takes, I take. This pawn's defended, thankfully. Yeah, not easy to find a good looking move for black. That's a move. Um, I mean, I think I just play this and and defend. I mean, rook f8. If rook g6, I take and rook f2. Oh. Here's e2. I take on c6. So something like, uh, it should be okay, like rook c2. It looks kind of scary, but hopefully it's okay. Maybe rook b2. Ah, uh, rook c2. Defending from a distance. It's crazy, like, it's not clear how I defend. Maybe this move, but... Queen d4 is a threat. I don't want to allow for pet. Queen e3 is also a threat. Might have to settle for a draw. That's crazy. Unless I'm missing something, but I think I have to settle for a draw. Two. Unless I want to go really insane and play for a win. Takes, takes. King F1. B3. 
team one. I think I just play this and settle for it. Most black wants to play on. It's going to be a draw. Was it a draw the whole time? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, rook, rookie two is my only drawing move. Oh, that's crazy. Why isn't maybe some small trouble? Wow. So this whole line is drawn. Ah, uh, I had to play rook ae one first to prepare rook f two and not allow e three. Yeah, tough game. Okay. Yeah, trying to stay in the top 50. It's not easy. Playing Mad Acuna. You would were. Uh, B3. E5 might be justified. Let's just castle. Might just slow play this, like B6, etc. I'm generally happy with these uh, these structures. It's kind of like a reverse Kali. Maybe my opponent was attempting to play something Kali-like. But it seems like Black is getting the better version of this. Consider taking uh, takes some King G2. We'll go after F2. Yeah, the knight wants to come here. Can still consider taking. Let's start with this. Okay, that's kind of what I wanted. Now these pawns are tender. Looks like I can win a pawn. The light squares are also weak. Maybe bishop c8? Be careful how I do this. I could also let's just take a pawn. One's playing really quickly. Uh, get the bishop back in play. Play this, but not five. Get the rook to the F file. The D4 looks interesting. Don't think I can resist, unless I can. F5. I want to play h6 g5. I want to play d4. Trying to make progress. I might end up sacking actually. Fancy move. Or. I want to play e3. I 
Ooh, there's a funny line. I think I'll start with this move. The idea is after it takes, I just play rook c8, threatening maiden 2, or maiden 3. It's not so easy for white to defend. Like, there's knight here, but then d3. If king here, I still go for this. There's this. There's also that. Oh, does it get funnier? Back. Mm. I'm 100 third, I think this is winning. The problem for white is a knight can't take because it's pinned to the square. Now I take here. Mm. Or this happens and. I guess I still have to fight on. Uh, how do I save the bishop? This doesn't work because rook takes. Where's this move? Check. At some point, I should make Luft. Just a matter of when and how. Play this first. And this should be a pretty straightforward win. Okay, now I'm threatening this. Wondering, did White have Rook F3 there? Do I have rook f3? Like, oh, I take with check. Okay. Okay, that was nice. Moving on. Still top 50. I got a win. Trying to build a streak. Yeah, top 30 will be difficult. Two hours and 20 minutes left. I got into top 50 a while ago. Berserking, taking a risk. So really got to stay focused here. H3 first. Yeah, we're going to have a quieter London system. Okay, going for f4, f5. Yeah, the point of berserking, um, it guarantees a game won't last super long. And it, it's an attempt to rack up more tournament points. Of course, there's risk. But it forces me to play more aggressively. I've been going back and forth. Okay, I want to go for f4, f5. C4 is under control. So is B5. A block's not going to take here. I think now we G4. Restricting any knight move. You probably want to bring all the pieces to the party. Mm. Okay, starting with this, hitting the pawn. Trying to make black commit to something. Now we're got six. B5 is probably coming. Ooh. Be this move. 
So if takes takes king h8, queen h6, rook g8, g5, I think is winning. This idea of rook f4, queen h7, rook h4, mate. Of course there's that. Uh, might as well take. Put the rook back first. Now the minority attack still exists for black. But I have some nice f-file action. to play h5 soon defend creating the gun uh to do this kind of allow queen g5 queen g5 rook g3 oh no queen g5 i take the thing Black's a bit tied down Knight's completely... St never mind. Play this move first. Wow. Okay, so if it takes g4, I have queen g3. Should be winning now. We're gonna play out uh, queen, queen and bishop versus two rooks. H six to include. So black's getting low on time, but black has increment. Mm -hmm. I don't. There we go. Just have to force a queen trade. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Holy heck with the en passant. Let's go. So, yeah, if I didn't berserk, I would get two points. But because I berserked, I get three points for that win. So one step closer to 300 tournament points. Mm. Oh, we drew earlier. Oh, we had a crazy game earlier. Okay. Why is white that game? Nothing crazy here. Just gonna try and play positionally. F4 is coming. Let's play this. It's slightly unsettling. Probably not a great position. I 
want to do this and this. I'm feeling the strain. It hurts a little bit. Back is sore. Okay, uh, D5 is coming. I'll play this. It's not exactly what I want, but okay, staying alive. The center gets locked, then. I was thinking there's some C5 ideas. Maybe this move. Just eyeing the pawn. There's also the possibility of this maneuver, knight f8 to g6. Okay, I'm happy with the c-file. I don't like that helped me more than it helped white. I was more expecting e5 eventually. Let's play a5. Now the idea to double up. So this idea. Let's start with this. Even this. This pawn's weak. If I win the pawn, I get a pass a pawn. Now, now white wants to go for the attack. I can take my time with winning the pawn. I want to go for this and just maybe trade off. And now I'll, I'll win the pawn. Bishop b5 is now a threat. And so is the pawn now hanging. Thinking this crazy move. I think I have to give away the pawn. Maybe this. Idea to sneak in. I have this move. So the rook is intruding. And the pieces are ready to pounce. Kind of. I don't think this works. And in short, there's bishop g3. X doesn't work. Maybe I just start pushing. House pawns are meant to be pushed. And close to queening. Pushing. If I have this move, also take. There's a funny line where I take and then take on g4. Doesn't work though. I'll take. Bishop. I have this move this and there's bishop g3 though maybe it's worth playing <sighs> idea
And Queen's coming to A1. And six seconds left. Best time management. Oh, my pawn. Still trying to fight. Yeah. That was a good move, too. My knight's hanging. Everything's hanging. It just attacks everything. Have any chances that game? I felt like I had chances with the past A pawn. Um, yeah, at some point it was roughly balanced. At some point, better for me. Instead of rook e8, bishop b7. Ah, bishop b7, rook a8. And I keep the pawn. Okay. It's tough. Works so hard to, like, try and win a game and then lose. But life goes on, playing parkour. I don't think this player berserks. Oh, this player I, I beat out of the opening that one game. Uh, yeah, they went into some Londons. Beat them twice with a London. Okay, London number three. B5. I prepared a uh, B5 against Fiddler. Prepared the move C4. There's a funny line. Uh, we trade and then E6. E5, Queen B3 is kind of cool. Still Queen B3. One wants to do this. Did this move. Um, it's okay to allow knight a5. Okay, there's some c-file pressure, and the setup's a little bit awkward for black. Question is what to do with this bishop. I kind of want to play d5 here. There's also a bishop g5. e5. Because in the event of takes, I take with queen. Takes, takes, I hit the bishop and the pawn, and this is also tender. And there's also the line takes, takes, takes. Takes, takes. I don't think leads to much for me. Oh, Adfoss beat this opponent too. Good job, Adfoss. I've never really gotten into parkour. But my queen is about to do some parkour across the board. Um. 
Wow. That looks really bad for black, but I don't see a way to punish it. I don't want to take too much time here. I think I'll play, no. See this move? Oh, this move looks nice. I think it works too. The problem for black, if pawn takes, I play this. If bishop takes, I take and still play knight d5. And the queen is basically trapped. I think. There's some beautiful lines with um yeah, so ninety five now. Black wants to play knight c six, but then I would take on e seven. Now d seven hangs. But there is knight c six here. Not quite over. I have queen for rook and knight. Don't want my queen to get trapped. Or is a move. Yo chat, let's Yo. get some hype. Spam them emotes. Uh, <laughs> all, all people must obey Tio Twaki. Thanks to Otwaki. Yeah, let's get some energy. I need to feed on the energy of the emotes. Also, this game is far from over. Hey, it's emote only mode. Oh no. Wait, I have this move. Okay. This is not going to be easy to win. And Black is still potentially playing for a win too. Probably a four first. And there's, I guess there's this. A trade. Or we don't trade. Hmm. Kids, duck. Yo, chat. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack. Also, quack. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to do here. I think I'll just play. I'll play this. Revoke H5. Maybe go for G4, actually. Some idea. I want to quack, but I see how do this move. Yeah, okay. Queen's a little bit out of play. Oh, that would blunder. This one's actually really difficult. Go for h4 and rook f2. And here I go. I'm in trouble here. Doesn't work. This. Also this. Little quack. And my king will find a nice pocket on g3. Uh, 
setting rook c8. Might be. Ending with the king. Covering f4. I want to get the queen in somehow. This now. Playing maiden two. Bishop f3, it's maiden three. One, two, three. And count to three. Let's go. Let's go. Also, quack. Yeah, don't mess with uh, the quacking. Man, that was terrifying. I almost got maiden. But then I was the one who mated, so. It's all good. I think the goal is just to stay in top 50. It's tough. A lot of people are trying to like, catch up to me. Oh, playing spicy food. Let's eat some spicy food. Maybe this player yesterday. I think Berserking too. Uh, let's be careful. And the spicy food is so delicious right now. And so spicy. Uh, yeah, this position is so, so spicy, but it's a good kind of spicy. Let's just force mate. It might be. I'm threatening queen f8 mate. No need to castle. Let's go. Eat some spicy food. 47th place. Oh, I'm playing the fastest man alive. Berserk. Okay. I think they'll berserk back. If they don't, I'll be disappointed. Ah, I'm so disappointed. Ah, how do I play the fastest man alive and they're not even berserking back? Wait, what am I doing? We're playing a scotch? Playing a scotch? I don't play the scotch. We're we gonna have a Nagmanson? Oh, this line. Let's play knight d7. New theory. Bishop b7. This is some sort of theory. I lost this line the other day in this 97 move. Very tricky. Okay, I think I have to play c6. And life goes on. Passing bishop f6 ideas. Out of the bishop pair.
And I'm giving the fastest man alive time odds. That's a bad decision. Okay, at least I have a plan to get my king safe and bishop f6. I just want to skewer stuff. And queen a4, I have to be ready for it. Queen a4. Oh, bishop g5, I have f6. Oh, probably queen a4, bishop d7. Oh, there's queen c5 too. Then bishop e6. It's important to stay focused on my opponent's turn. Wouldn't mind some trading. Who's mating? Oh no, my bishop. I think at the very least I win the pawn. Bishop d4 is not a threat. <laughs> is this a candidate move? Oh, uh, make some luft. Maybe now bishop g5. Let's save the king. Ooh. The take. Back. Be very careful here. Please come in. Might as well play f6. I'm losing back the pawn, unfortunately. Yeah, it's going to be hard to deal with this. Given the time situation. Sneak in from behind. A good move. Trouble. I don't have any defense. G5, I guess. So sad. Okay. Ow. It's tough. Good game, though. I liked my position until I didn't like my position. Opponent was fast. Or are they f the fastest man alive? I don't know. Okay, no berserking. Let's get a King's Gambit. Or Pon I haven't played the Ponziani yet this tournament. I don't think. Okay, I'll play my, my mainline Sicilian stuff. Yeah, this is a kind of interesting sideline. I think Black is already in a lot of trouble here. 
I have three attackers. Some day five attackers. Okay, that feels good. 10 move win. Opponent didn't want to suffer. Oh, I was minus four. Oh, I was completely winning in the previous game. That's kind of sad. But it's nice to have a game like that. As always, thanks for the great content. Oh, thank you. Love HS. Something for 34 months. Welcome back. Yeah, people play a knight h3 to get a knight f4. That's why I played knight g6. I think over this too. Yeah, let's get the bishop hair. Castle. Might go for the, the typical Budapest rook lift. Maybe your new mask would grant you newfound strength, energy, oh, yeah. and powers. About to sign mask. off soon. Good luck for the end of the uh, tournament. Chat. Hype. Now. Okay. Time for hype. Also, time not to flag. I have to play with incredible perfection not to lose this. Also, White almost has a pawn cube. Also, Quack. Okay, so the pawn's defended. I want to play this. Also, thank you, Tio Twaki. <laughs> Appreciate the words and the support and the modding. Yeah, let's go after the knight. Hey, Eric. Have a great day. Unfortunately, I got my Discord account stolen this morning. Oh, no. I hope you didn't get a lot of spam by user spazzer on your Discord. I'm so sad. I hope I can get it restored shortly, but I don't count on it. Less than three. Oh, yeah. Make sure your passwords are strong. Use a password manager. Uh, what to do? G6? I have no time. And no clue what I'm doing. G6 looks really bad, but I guess I play it. Here I play this. Bishop G7 may have been missed there. It's still really unpleasant for me. My my rook lifted to the wrong location. Yeah, I'm about to be zugzwanged. Still a small ounce of hope. Oh no. Hope. It's not looking good. At least I can maybe win the pawn.
was really hoping for Rook C7 there. I resign. Good game. Opponent played well. What to do? Okay. I do need a break soon. One more game, then break time. I'll try and recover. No berserking this time. Uh, sometimes hard to play aggressively against this. H3. Yeah, so very typical London setup. Bishop G2, or Bishop H2. Locke's playing some typical ideas. After this pawn. E6, I take on D6. Oh my... G pawn's hanging. Do I have this move? Accidental gambit. I know it's happening now. I mean, there's h6. Yeah, this is probably good for black. At least it's playable. E5. I'm getting some Benoni structure. And queen's on e8 for some reason. I want to go after the pawn eventually. I think I can take. Knight. Knight e4 is kind of funny. I'll play rook g1 first. Pawn e4, pawn e4 is so anti positional though. King h2. King h1. F2. I'm blinking F2. He is tender. Might make sense just to take. Maybe I should play King H2. There's Bishop F1. And okay, I don't think I mind a queen trade. I'm down the pawn, but. Have some central space. Off the color bishops. At some point, I think black will have to play this or this. Yeah, I thought I could just do this. I guess we're just trading, and I lose this pawn. Black defends in the end. That's interesting. I have this move. Bishop e2. It's far from over, though. I'm still down a pawn. My idea to do this and this. this move. I want to bring the bishop to c6, play rook b1, and then win the pawn. I'm not sure how I get the bishop in. Hoping for bishop c7. 
quite happening. The king on d3, perhaps. Oh, the bishop's going to hug my rook with this. Uh-oh. I don't like this feeling of getting hugged. Is e5 and bring the king in? Do I en passant? Probably not. Reserve the idea of e6. What is this position? Brick me. I play this move and then I also just have this move. Or this move. Start with this. Only way to defend the pawn is king h6. Oh, that's a counterattack. Uh, this is probably bad for me. Oh, wait a minute. It's a free pawn. It's probably good for me. What am I talking about? Let's take a free pawn. I escaped the bear hug or the bishop hug. One int forgot. Okay, now I have h4. I have this move too. The funny looking move. This, this, this. Or this and this. Yeah, I'll box in trouble. If takes, it's made in two. Or made in three. The center pawns are so strong here. Okay, time to I take or a time to take. Take here. Maybe it's not quite mating. It's close though. Uh, play this. I assume this is a force mate threat. Yeah, let's go. Okay, taking a small break. Uh, I'll be back momentarily. Pause the tournament. 12 months of love, 48. enjoying being a part of your journey. Got mm -hmm. to see it through Marboy. Thank you, Mr. Kilo. Welcome back. Happy one year. Okay, I'll be back momentarily. In the meantime, watch a game between some of the top players. I'll be back soon. Okay.
Back to tournament. 92 minutes left. Wow. It's almost over. I'm barely holding on to top 50. It's tough. There's some people paused. Playing light like. I'll play one game with the music. It's a setting on the chess. It generates sounds based on the, the game. Oh no, not this line. Actually, I don't mind that. There's a better move bishop c4 there. Blunder. I may have blundered. Unless I can take. Maybe it's okay. It might not be okay, but we'll find out soon. It's the sound setting sound and then pentatonic. I know it's cut off, but. That's a nice feature. I could take here. So I'm temporarily now in a piece, but. I'll win something back. Maybe even get a better position too. Because this pawn is a bit uh, weak. So if I take... Ooh, there's knight g5. If I take here... Okay, let's take here. But if takes, I play this and take. The rook might get hugged. Or no, it can't. Or maybe it can. That looks okay, though. Oh, I have this. No, I don't have this move because takes. Uh. Okay, my rook is getting hugged. It's not quite trapped. There's c5, maybe queen e7. And queen e5 eventually. It looks weird to play without a rook. That move I forgot about. I'm probably in some trouble now. I want to take this. I want to play this move now. doesn't work this move also this move I think I'll play this move It looks really, really risky. 
but maybe playable. There's also this I should consider. Hi, Eric. Wow, ow, 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 ow. Hi. Oh, there's Night H2, funny move. Which just kind of loses. Okay, I'll play King H8. It's not pleasant. I'm holding on for dear life here. I was thinking Queen H6. My F4 is also kind of interesting. Also, probably just losing. In H6. Oh, that doesn't work. Try this. Also, hi. Also, I'm completely losing if white finds the right move. Is white to move and win if people want to puzzle? Or is it so simple? That's so simple. Yeah. It's completely winning for white. What to do? There goes my position. Okay. Oh, it was rough. I might already be losing after Rook F1. Yeah. I was looking for a defense, but smart choice from White. Okay, I guess I another game started. Well, the Zurich, I'll play this move. I'm gonna move quicker. Oh no. No more, no more sound effects. 
Oh, I'm playing spicy food. Okay. Let's eat some spicy food. Oh no, I'm outside top 50. Okay, serious chest time. Okay, no more berserk losing. I want to bring the queen to h4. It's the promised land. I was already completely winning for white. Okay, let's go. Had some spicy food. Back on track. Where am I? Hey, top 50 again. Okay. So 303. I'm playing other people around my same rank, so it's important not to lose to people. I think variants only. Help berserk. Play this line. I'm in trouble. Ah, I'm so slow. Oh, I was going for the dirty flag. What to do? Okay, still top 50. Ah, I remember this game. That was a fun game. 
Okay. Going into this line. This is a fun line. I think you fired up for the burn. I'm subbing for five months. Yeah, still prep. Uh, Bishop E2, I don't think I've seen before. Might as well take. Okay, black is winning. Okay, this move. Maybe this move. Always have to watch out for these ideas. I'm up a full rook. A couple pawns. F6. Oh, B7 hangs. Complete blind spot. It's not so simple now. Um, I want to play this, but then queens would double check. And there's rook c8. Yeah. Queen c3. I think maybe just castling an h4. It's getting tricky though. Calculating this, 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 this. It's just a big mess. Maybe this first. Preventing queen d5. Queen's tied down to defending the bishop. Even my opponent thought they could queen, but... Okay, life is better now. Thank you, Rip and Chen. Solving with Prime for the first time. Getting made in one. F2 really couldn't be defended there. Okay. Hey, 44. Well, I hopped over a lot of people. Hoppity hoppity. Okay, we're approaching. Uh, I should have played E5 there. We're approaching the final hour. Hello, hope you are well. This is an awesome channel. Oh, thank you. Forensic life coach. Hope you're well too. Been subbing for two months. There is this move, and after which I have to go back. Okay, here I'll probably still go for this H4H5 plan. Maybe throw in some knight h3. I'm going for g4 now. Hi, Eric. Have an internship interview soon. Wish me luck. Smile. Oh, good luck. Smile. Trying to figure out what's going on here. I want to play uh, in G4, but it's tricky. Maybe just this move. Just play very positionally. Trade queens. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mango Dude. 
stay focused, do your best. Probably want to take on e6 soon and g4 eventually. Another idea is bishop e2, idea f4. But then I get my queen trapped. But bishop e2 over defends f3, so. G4, I still want to play someday. Oh no, my pawn. Okay, there's some knight f5 ideas now. Thank you, DK, with the J. New tier one sub. Yeah, knight f5 looks nice, actually. I mean, it's kind of a big trade. But now I get the g file open. Knight f4 incoming. I'm going to try and finish strong. Are you participating in the Crammeling Squid Games? I am, yeah. I was one of the last minute entries. Originally, I declined because I was going to go to Latvia, but I kind of fell through, and now we'll be in the Squid. I think it's just called Squid Chess. It's tomorrow, tomorrow morning, I think. To check the exact time. Where is my win? The queen here. Some funny line like takes rook h1, etc. And the line is actually takes. Never mind. I was also thinking here. Maybe that's not so simple. Oh, there's a nice line. Okay, so takes and then just takes. And then rook g1. Also threatening maiden one. I assume this works. I mean, I didn't calculate king h5, but yeah, there's queen d1 and queen g4 mate. Yeah, with that move, maybe I just take. I'll temporarily lose my knight, but I'm going to win the knight back. I'm also threatening to take, take, and quadruple fork. Oh, ah, oh, it's not going to happen. A quadruple fork of all the major pieces would have been really nice. Yeah, so now I'm just finding the singular fork. The best way to do this. Good evening, Eric. Tourney seems to be going well. You get a it trophy is. for top 100, don't you? I do. What's I your think best finish in one of these marathons? Top overall position? Oh, I'm not actually sure. There might be a way to look that up. If you go to my profile and see like my previous... Uh, yeah, you can probably click in. Marathon top 50. So two top 50s before. Also, welcome back, Stephen Gray. Hope you got some nice rest. Time to go for the kill now. Oh, except I'm not really... Uh, let's play this move. 
Well, I can't take because then I force mates. Okay, this. Okay, Rook is now pinned. I just want to simplify. Uh, back. Back. Oh, I was about to blunder a Rook. That would have been bad. Maybe this move. It's hard to stay focused for like so, so long. Let's go. Okay. Avoided blundering a rook. Yeah, there's trophy for top 50, I believe. Hey, thank you, staff work. Cheering 450. My placing times 10. And thank you, read a book. Thank you, Lord Francesco, gifting to Triple and Nello. Pulling a raid is 2450. Okay, let's berserk. Stafford Gambit time? His opening is a little bit sus, but I'm trying to make it work. I think you read a book. Fifteen five. Okay, probably want to go for the C pawn push. Don't mind the queen trade. And put the rook on the F file. Bring the king in. It's gonna turn very positional. I'm gonna put a rook on f4 and bring my other rook to f6 probably. And then just milk this position like a cow. Maybe my king can come in. Your frequent opponent Manito Diplomo is in third. He must have stayed Ooh. awake. Wow, that's actually really crazy. Yeah, we played a lot last night or this morning. Wow. Yeah, probably stayed awake. Also, how am I going to win this? Let's go. Okay, I want a pawn. I want another pawn. Ah, I'm winning so many pawns. Where am I? F7's kind of hanging. It's still not super clear, but it should be winning. My opponent just got a little bit careless there. Let's go. Okay. Got another W. Uh, what's Berserk? I don't know if this opponent Berserk's back. I don't. Ah, uh, this game. Okay, let's take. Let's play something a bit more aggressive. Idea F3, E4. I'm just trying to play a dragon setup. Good morning from Singapore. Hey, Amazing that Singapore. you're at it again. I am, I am. It's been a long tournament. We're just about in the final hour. Oh, I missed this move, kind of. 
Let's play this. Some idea to play this. And Queen D8, I think, is forced. Maybe takes and Bishop takes F4, Knight G4. That's hard to judge. Okay, so that was the point. Up a pawn now. But again, I don't have increment, so it's gonna be tough. I'll play this and win f7. Okay, now I'm finding this. a6 takes and then c4 probably. I still want to play this. Not quite winning. And the knight back. Back. Hello. Hello. I mean, two different forks. Black's pieces are very forkable. Okay, going in for the kill now. There we go. Yeah, that's a free pawn. I'm just trying to trap the knight. E7, rook c6. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ta, to, Wait, what? Oh, I forget how it goes. Or forget the like the tune. I think something bing bang. It's so late, it's hard to say things. But it's easy to pin things. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Oh, hello to Neil. What's up, Neil? Welcome back. Hey, top 40. 34th. The goal's top 30. Which might be doable. Yeah, let's be good. Okay. Already slightly confusing. Ooh ee ooh ah ting tang walla walla bink whack. Ooh ee. So many syllables. <sighs> Almost so a baby. Black. Hey. Pulled off EMC forty two. Hey, I have to play quicker. Let's play this move. Being the knight. Oh, 
want to take. I know Queen was hanging, so. Um, play this. Risky move, but it's interesting. In the center. I can have two now. This position is so confusing. Looks good for black. A lot of things happening. No, oh, my queen. Go okay. Oh. Okay, somehow I won that. I dropped a queen, but man, I felt like I was playing well that game. And it just came down to dirtiness. Let's go. That's five in a row. Three Berserk wins in a row. Variants only. I think they're Berserk. Yeah. Opponent lost or opponent beat me before, so I'd like to go for revenge. What's quacker lacking? I woke up at the quack of dawn just in time to duck a Christmas quacker being tossed at my head. Oh, Anyways, dear. enjoy these bits. You can put it on my bill. <sighs> oh, thank you, Lord Francesco. I would have assumed that came from Duck, but I appreciate that. Uh, let's play this. Give me this move. Give me G4 ideas. I can take and back. Play this first. I was going to come down to a time scramble. No queen trade for you. Okay, double attack. Take this first. The ship's now hanging. Let's go. Okay. What was that? Six in a row? Six in a row. Trying to close in on top 30. All 
I don't know if this player berserks. But I'm, I'm on a berserking streak, so I have to keep berserking. Thank you, Forensic Life Coach. Oh, and Duck. Hamsters are the best beginner's pet. You don't have to feed them and they only live for three days. Wait, what? Also, quack. I don't know if that's... how... pets are supposed to work. Okay. It's actually still theory. It's a topical variation. Bish B7 is the main move. Okay, e4. This is a uh, stockfish versus alpha, or no, alpha zero versus stockfish. 2000, was it 2019? It was from their famous match in London. It was one of the only games featuring a London opening. e4 was a novelty at the time. There's some cool ideas. I mean, of course, the critical moves are takes or takes. Stockfish did play this, which is the best move. Now the threat is this. There's only one move for Black not to lose. Still in prep. The thing is, uh, the position is really complicated if Black plays the right move. It's been a while since I've looked at this line so closely. Yeah, Queen B4 is the best move. Oh no, my knight. Black can take it once. Just not twice. So I'm up on time. I just don't have increment. Play rookie one. Might as well take and play h4. I vaguely remember some ideas of backing. I mean, it's called for given the structure. Yeah, there might be some cool Greek gift at some point. Play this first. I want to take on. I don't think it works though. My box getting really low on time. I have to keep moving quickly too. Uh, does this work now? It might work. Let's do it. The point is, I have rook b. Oh wait. Oh, I don't. Ah. I thought everything was coming with check. But the point is, I have this move coming soon. Hopefully. Uh, there's g6. Maybe this first. It's complicated now. Who's hanging, so... And...
go. Let's go. Okay, got the job done. A nice little opening prep. Okay, 31st place. What's that, seven, eight in a row? Dealing with fire. The berserking won't stop. Swan sawn over the sea, swim, swam, swim. Swan swam back again, well swam swan. Aww. I do have my is patiently waiting to be warned, but let's not wear it too soon. Iskandi. Oh, I want to play Kadas. Play this. Position's a little bit passive, but still looks playable. Queen seven. I'm not sure which side to castle. Probably king side now. <laughs> Eventually. Oh, I'm getting forked. E6 was such a bad move. Let's try and fight. I take on keep the bishop. To avoid trades and keep the position tense and threaten sneaky mates. Triple fork me. Or maybe coming. This is almost trapped over there. Maybe a post. No, no, ah. oh no. Okay, back to tournament. There goes my streak. It was fun while it lasted. For how fleeting are all human passions, compared to the massive continuity of ducks. Also, keep going, Eric. Also, also quack. quack. Also, also quack. Hi. Oh, hi. Okay. Uh, I drew this person before. Okay, let's berserk. I'm trying to regain the berserking streak. It's dangerous, though. Yeah, my bishop should be on f4. My opponent has way more time than they started with. I like the position though. Castle. Top 30, here he comes. Let's go, Eric. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. It's not easy. 31st place, though, and close. This is a critical game. I'll take and play this. F5, I reroute to E5. Queen C6, I play Rook H4. Oh, funny line here, never mind.
Knight has a hard time getting back in the game. Queen f4, I have this winning immediately. Tuned in this morning, UTC, and you're still going. What a machine. Uh, I did take a break to sleep for several hours. This is my second stream of this tournament. But yeah, it's been a lot of streaming of chess. We're coming back. TV. Yeah, I wouldn't mind the queen trade. F3 when the time is right. Oh, there's F4 coming. Taking. Hope for the best. Seven knight. We'll come to D3. It's a bit tricky for Black not to get the fort. Did this move now? I'm hitting the rook. Takes his one fork. Remember Eric, it's a marathon, not a sprint. But also remember Eric, right now it's sort of a sprint. Yeah, it has. Print the finish of America. I'm just going for cheap tricks. Seven opponents done so well of not work. work. Oh. oh, okay. 
Okay, this is one of the Berserks. Trying to recover. 32nd place. London opening time. Main line. Yeah, I think Bishop D3 makes sense. Wow. What? I'll take here. A free pawn. It's confusing though. This is castle queenside. This is just a trade. Well played. Takes a little bit of trouble here. Now box in trouble. Please take my pawn. Still. No! Ah, I'm so slow. Ah, I was a little bit too slow there. I just lost track of time. Okay, still within range. Very much within range of top 30. It's going to be close, though. I have made in one? Did I really? But I had made in one. In the final position? Ah, I had made in one. Arr. I had made in one in the final position. Queen d4 mate. That's so sad. Okay, Stafford Gambit time. <sighs> Queen e2, I think, is actually the best move. Okay, no berserking this game.
think C3 is the only move here, weirdly enough. Okay, I want to go for the light square massaging. And there's knight h3. Knight bishop h3. Okay, there's a lot of good looking options here. I think I'll start with. I should start with this rook, actually. Queen is attacked. Now there's this idea. If this, I play this. Yeah, White's on, already under pressure here. Might be threatening this. A bold move. I guess if I play this, there's rook takes. Start with this. Hmm. There's a funny line. It doesn't work. I'm thinking Bishop B7 takes, 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 but loses material. I'll start with this. I guess this. Oh no. The thing is, I saw this idea against Bishop e5. Yeah, this is a blunder. To do. Oh, maybe I. It's not good. Still a tiny ounce of hope. F6. I'm down a piece. That was a nice looking position too. It's probably worth resigning pretty soon. You never know. <laughs> you never know. It's late in the tournament. Opponent's probably tired too. Good move. We're going to five. Hoping for a miracle. Attacking different things. And this is kind of what I want, just a unexpectedly complicated situation. I mean, my things are hanging, but white has some stuff hanging too. It's also getting kind of low on time. I was on the verge of resigning, but yeah, there's still hope. Or is there? 
take the thing. If I take. I should probably take that. I mean, there's. Take first. I'm still alive. Here I can take. And get some rook ending. There's also king, maybe king g8. Or comp. It's still losing, that's the problem. Okay, I'll go into this. Oh, I didn't see that. Ah, I didn't see that. Okay. Still a little bit low on top. Nothing up. Visual short style. Back. 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 Okay. Let's go. Hey. Uh, okay, I didn't deserve to win that. It's a swindle. Let's go. Needed that too. 31st place. Back on track. I don't know how that happened. I was just down a full rook. And then my king walked up. King helped with a mating attack. Yeah, finishing with a sprint. I think this is playable, actually. Queen side down to the knight. The c6, I can play this. Ninety five. B4, I'll actually, let's be solid, B3, why don't you go for knight of 4 is this move? All the pawn tension now. This is a weakness. Defend the e-pawn first, win the f-pawn later. Ooh, fancy move.
Okay. Was machen wir im Mäß? Plenty of time. Let's go. Okay. About 30? Maybe? 29? Let's go. Okay. Mission accomplished. Now can I finish top 20? I have 20 minutes left. Let's play this line. Anti-Danish Gambit. Up a pawn here. Play this move. Find the square for the knight. There we go. Mm. Do this. Weird, but some logic to it. Ah, I got forked. It's still probably okay. F3 is weak. If white keeps checking me, I think I'll run to E5 or uh, A6. Just B6 and King A6. Wait, don't mate me. Am I getting mated? No. I have to play this. Okay, that was kind of a close call. Yeah, this is a very important move. Let's go. 27th. 21st is 13 points away. That's two Berserk wins. No, three Berserk wins away. Oh, opponent beat me before. And they don't Berserk either. It was a mistake to Berserk this opponent. Okay, we're gonna make a very open position. I guess we're in, in some end game. They'll have a minute left. I'll play e5. I'll play a6, I think. E6 is kind of nice. Maybe four probably coming.
No, I got forked. What just happened? What happened? That was a draw? That was a draw. I tried clicking claim draw, but my opponent claimed it before me. So then the button changed from claim draw to back to tournament. I was expecting king g3, but the opponent was kind of kind to me. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm berserking the rest of my games. A lot of people are berserking back. I don't usually play this opening. G3 Kings Indian. Ticks, ticks. Uh, might as well. Knight D5 coming. Looks pleasant. Has an idea too. Nice time advantage. Ooh. Okay, bishop c3 was more painful there. Oh. Bishop b6, I guess. Position's not great, but mine is good. King activity. I'm down a pawn, but uh, position position actually looks pretty nice. Okay, let's go. Twenty sixth place. I'm just trying to sprint, play as many games as possible in the last 13 minutes. A lot of players not berserking back. But some players do. Another victim to bishop a6. Not a victim yet, I still have to prove myself, but... This is a nice trap. Uh, I guess queen a5 is one of the best moves you can take and win, win a pawn with better structure. And prevent black from castling.
Ooh. Probably should not have allowed that. Uh. Awkward situation here. Ah, it took a lot of time there, too. Yeah, the plan is to get C4 in. Accomplished. I'm up upon not so much time though. I doubled a pawn. What is this? Not good. I'm trying to fight. No, I love Queen C1. I was trying to set up the thing. Uh, what to do? Thank you, a flock. Okay, life goes on. Go I'll play a reverse close Sicilian setup. Approaching, yeah, this could be one of the last games. Trying to make every game count. Already accomplished my goal, though. <laughs> Top 30. Um, might as well take. Go for uh, C6. Oh, thanks for one of the last game bits. Yeah. How many games will be left? Ideally more than two. It's risky to just go all out for the win. If the attack doesn't work. I have to believe. I want to play f4, but then e4 is annoying. Maybe I just win connect 4, 5 h4. I work on c7. Okay, connect 4.
and come to c5 maybe pushing okay now the knight wants to come to c5 if takes i play this and maybe win something i vote that eric starts a new tournament after this one oh. chat also quack also go eric i host also, a zero tournament quack. Also, I'm about to flag. Ah. Okay, pawns are smiling. Six takes. Okay. I have a battery, but there's a pin. A lot of the pawn tension here. G4 kills all my fun. Five is his friend. I'm still having some. Oh, the rook's defended. Ah, uh, what to do? This. We're checks, finding the pawn. Thanks for the great chess. Oh, thank you. I'm down a pawn. Enough. Three. Maybe I can pull off some penis. Even long. He's missing. This is why king pawn endings are so important. Does white know how to win this? What? 
Let's go. Draw. Hey. Why well, didn't know how to win it? Do we have time for one more game? It's time for one more. I'll have to give a lesson how to win that King Pawn ending. Oh, pairings are closed. Okay. I didn't end on a loss. What a finish. Wow. I mean... So this this position is drawn. I, I pre-moved the wrong move because um, I didn't have any time left. Uh, black would keep opposition. But this position is winning for white. King f6 is a wrong move. Um, I could play king h7 and white would have to repeat. But... Where did white go wrong? Oh yeah, so king f7 here wins. Is this, this, and then the pawn queens? Uh, but if we go back... So the, the correct way to win is king g6, king here. And then not this because king h7, and then there's uh, the stalemate trick. But to play king h6, and then the timing works out. I'm chased to the center. Anyway. Good tournament, Eric. Top 30 is very impressive, especially considering the sleep. Yeah, I didn't play the whole thing. I played 10 hours, and now 5 hours? About 15 hours. So, what, like, two-thirds? I can't do math. Or three-fifths. About three-fifths. Okay. Well, good job to everyone. Good job to this person who beat me a handful of times. Your I'm frequent fishing. opponent finished at third place. Oh yeah, I played. I played all these guys. Everyone who finished top ten, I'm pretty sure I played at some point. Great marathon! Congrats. Oh, thank you, Mr. Turlosaurus. I appreciate all the kindness and generosity. Absolute chess machine. Well played all day and thanks again. Oh, thank you, Silverback HQ. Donating $26 for 26th place. Did it quite ever happen? No, I, I tried so many times, it didn't happen. A lot of people just played Sicilian. I played King's Gambit so many times, I didn't play a single Ponziani in this tournament. Also, I kind of like, based on Silverback HQ's donation of $26, if I finished in 24,000th place, would the donation be $24,000? Oh, maybe I... I had the wrong tournament strategy because the higher I finish <laughs> the lower the the amount almost as tasty as my stabber gambits <laughs>